Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here. Uh, this week I want to talk to you about, um, well, this job was done in Mead, Colorado. Um, the old system years ago, they allowed you to come down the one single service mast and then go back out to, for instance, that pole there, which they set that pole and the power company set that pole, which is kind of hidden. Um, when a tree limb fell and knocked and snapped the service mast, she had just a small meter and it broke it. And uh, they were just trying to bungee it <laughs> to this um, shutter right here. So we had to come in and they would not let us put back anything back as is on this. Um, they say if th something gets damaged, it has to go back to as much as possible to newer code which in this case you can see there's a ground rod driven here ground rod driven right there connects to intersystem bonding bridge bar comes into the panel and then into here um, let me grab my screwdriver so when all this bonded now had to update and um, actually you can see it right here coming in that's a number four copper that's my cold water and that is my number six for the ground rods and my number six here going out to the sub panel I already talked to the inspector about this but the power comes in overhead so this chase is not used I asked him if I could punch this put my bushing put my offset nipple and come into this panel and feed it side by side and him and I talked about it like well why can't you put the meter here in the cabinet here because we have to breaker the pole barn into this panel here to come back out with another riser and you can't crisscross so you can't feed a pole barn going left with the panel on the right and then the other panel on the left feeding to the right for the utilities they don't want you doing that. You need to stay separate. So that was a, a pretty hard thing, but I went and talked to the inspector and I said, this is, I, I got pictures. I went down and said, hey, this is what I want to do. Is this okay? And he said, you're fine. So again, I bushinged all the way through that. Um, this is feeding out. So guys, I want to bring to your attention that yes, this is a USE RHW-2 rating. 310, 15, 16 talks about the Celsius rating, 90 recalling for column for aluminum compact conductor to be at 100 amps but at a 75 to 60 degree Celsius rating you actually have to step that down so I did 80 amps just because I don't want to fail the inspection but I could come back here tomorrow and put a 100 amp breaker I'd totally be fine feeding this bus bar which is rated to 125 amp just fine this then comes out with the number two I uh, couldn't get the two to fit in here so I put some bug splice with your tap rules so you're allowed to do that Keep this separate, float your neutral. And then once we got up to the top, here, let me have that. Oh, okay. I seal, I went ahead and I did get a nice lag and a two inch mini here. This I couldn't do anything. But as you get up to the top, you'll see what I did. I got a guy wire and I hit right there to a truss. And then I used these back to back, the old porcelain knobs with some uh, 14 gauge steel wire and they will support each other as well. As well as the fact this one was not sloppy when it was drilled. I drilled it myself. This one was just sawzod to heck over the years. And then I lagged it and tarred it really well to let it harden. And I did the same as here, but I used to use deck screws here, but lags on this one. This is going out as a primary. This comes back and goes to the secondary. Again, before they had them both coming up the same raceway. You cannot do that. So once that's all done, just give give them a, a shot, Alicia. Kind of far back what that looks like, because sometimes you can't see that in the video. And
by the way, that's a great ladder for all you electricians. Always have that on the truck. Um, but that right there is kind of how it's it's supposed to look now. And they did not budge on the grounding or anything. The other thing is that this bonded back to back in here. And I won't pull this cover, but I separated my grounds and my neutrals and floated them here. This originally was fed with a number two aluminum with a 200 amp breaker. All you guys who know the code, boy, I could have, we could have burnt up that wire years ago doing that. This is a four out aluminum now and floated the neutral, kept the cabinet. We did have to cut out this old wood siding and drop it six to eight inches to get it to fit out there. And then we just supported that with tie straps, but you know none of that was supported anyways. I just don't want to flunk on that. The number four copper went all the way through, down through an unfinished basement. Here's the thing, um, I'll do a second video on it, about the cold water bond, because this video is too long, thanks.